Your Kona Electric can provide up to 258 miles of driving range on a full charge. And there are three ways to charge it, each with a very different charging time. Level 1 is the simplest and also the slowest. You plug one end of the Hyundai portable charger into a standard 120 volt household outlet and the other into the charging connector port on the front of your vehicle. At a typical charging rate of 1.2 kilowatts per hour, it takes about 59 hours to fully charge the battery from nearly empty. Of course, you'll rarely let it go that low. Level 2 charging is much faster and requires a 240 volt charger. You might have one installed at your home or use one of the thousands of public chargers all across the country. Level 2 chargers deliver about 6 kilowatts of power per hour. That adds up to 25 miles of range per hour of charging. You can go from nearly empty to 100% in about 9.5 hours. Both Level 1 and 2 chargers use the same type of connector to plug into your Kona Electric. It's commonly called a J-plug. Then there is Level 3 or DC fast charging. This high speed option is only available at DC fast capable public EV stations. Not all DC fast chargers are the same. A 50 kilowatt charger provides about 165 miles of range per hour, up to an 80% charge level. A 100 kilowatt charger is significantly faster. Charging speeds drop considerably after reaching 80%. To plug in a DC fast charger, your Kona Electric requires what is commonly called a combo connector. As do many other EVs, some automakers use a Chatamo connector, while others have their own proprietary type. Not every DC fast charging station offers a combo connector. Be sure to check available connector types when searching for stations. No matter what type of charger you use, you need to access Kona Electric's connector port. First, make sure your vehicle is unlocked. Push on the right edge of the charging door, and when it pops out, pull the door towards you. Remove the dust caps, then plug in the charger. Check to see that your vehicle is charging. The charging indicator on the instrument cluster will be illuminating. If you are at a public station, you can also look at its display screen. You might also check the remaining time message on your vehicle's LCD screen. This appears for the first minute of charging and shows how long it will take to reach maximum driving range. It also shows current battery level and the charging station's power output. Here's another feature that you may find useful, the charging connector auto lock button. If you lock your vehicle while plugged in, the charging connector will normally be locked in place too, but you have the option for the connector to automatically unlock when charging is complete. That allows other people to disconnect the charging cable and use it themselves. It's a common courtesy at public stations. The charging connector auto lock button is located on the driver side dash panel. When the auto mode indicator is illuminated, the charging connector will automatically unlock once charging is complete. When the light is off, the charging connector will remain locked even after charging is finished. That may be useful if you're using the Hyundai portable charger in an unsecured area and you want to ensure that no one else can use it. To unlock the connector, you must unlock all the doors on your Kona Electric. Once charging is complete, remember to replace the dust caps. If your vehicle is equipped with a navigation system, you can use it to find nearby charging stations. From the home screen, press the EV button, then touch the map. The map expands to show your driving range and the charging stations within it. Each station has an icon that shows whether it is available in use, out of order, or if the status is unknown. For a closer look at the stations, use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out. You can also view nearby stations as a list. Then you can select a particular station to see more detailed information. You can even set it as your destination. There are many other great features that will help you get the most out of your electric vehicle. You might want to check them out. Press the EV button and take a look. The more you know, the more you'll enjoy your Kona Electric.